Hi Ladybirds. So for your choosing time challenge today, we are starting our brand new magnificent adventure around space. And I thought, oh, how exciting. Maybe if you start thinking about some ways that you could travel and get to space, because I know that you've loved transport and I know that you've loved thinking about fun vehicles and fun ways of traveling. So I've got a few ideas for you, okay? Now you don't have to do every one of them. You can maybe pick one of them and also think really carefully about what resources you have at home and what you're able to do. It doesn't matter if you haven't got some of the things that I suggest, that is fine. So one of the things I thought of is that junk modeling things can be really, really helpful. And we've been trying to learn about recycling before half turn, haven't we? And how useful it is to turn old things into um, new things that are really exciting. And this is one great way of doing that, where there's a little cup, where they've made a little space rocket here. You've got one of Mr. Briscoe's most used things, I think, on our videos, some cotton buds. Those are just so helpful. They can be anything cotton buds. They are one of the most amazing resources you could you could have. Um, so those um, are there too. Um, they've even used, I think, just cut some cut up bit, little strips of paper put at the top, and they've done some um, coloured rings going around the um, outside. Again, it reminds me of that NHS rainbow, which is really um, lovely, isn't it? Um, so you might want to make your own little rocket off into space that would be quite fun so it might be that you um, are a bit short on modeling materials if you're a bit short of just modeling things then could i maybe say at home can you try and collect as many as you can so just when you're um eating things and then you've got some um modeling things and like i said before half term see if you could make maybe a little sign or a designated place in your house and pop them in um, rather than putting them in the bin because they can they are like treasures for early years and they'll be so helpful to do some fun things with. Now, another thing, you might want to make your own little rocket, which is 2D instead of 3D. So instead of using 3D shapes like these, you might want to use 2D shapes. So this is where you're doing it just flat on a piece of paper. Um, so um, on this one, they've done a hand print out of paint. So you could paint your hand as your handprint, but I do totally get that you may not have paint at home or you may not be in a painting mood, which is absolutely fine. And another thing is you could draw it. So you could get a pen um, and just put pen and paper and you could have a good drawing. You could even draw around your hand and then do a fun pattern inside to fill your hand um, up, which would be really exciting. Or you could have a go at thinking about the wings and the different parts, um, thinking maybe about the engine and where the fuel goes in. So thinking about some of those new special words, thinking about where the flames are going to come out of in your rocket. Another idea is to do it as a name rocket. So you could do it by cutting up some little bits of paper and then sticking them together. And then you could always do it so that you've got your name going down um, the outside that's a fun way of doing it so some really um interesting things that hopefully you can have a go at doing there where you can make your own ones i hope you have lots of fun doing that ladybirds and i will look forward to seeing you again soon have fun bye